You know, my mom never taught me how to cook. She burned water. Before opening his restaurant in Tacoma's Fern Hill neighborhood, Sean Tibbetts had more than 40 jobs, from washing dishes to flipping omelets, and he says he learned something new at every one. Now they call me a chef, but I'm just still me. <laughs> That's my meat and gravy bomb if you've never seen it. Wow. A chef with just two campfire burners and a stove, who's now receiving the kind of critical acclaim restaurants with much bigger kitchens would kill for, including more than 400 five-star reviews on Yelp. Success didn't come for me. I'm not successful. It's the folks that come in here. Folks that are filling seats at his nine-table restaurant, making reservations hard to come by. That's the one, Kim. That's the one. And it almost never happened. Weeks before opening, Sean's mother died in a car accident. And I took all the money that I had. I gave her the best service a son can give his best friend, his mother, and I was broke. Among those sending condolences, a boy Sean knew in fifth grade, now a Hawaiian real estate developer who offered to bankroll Sean's dream. I broke down and cried because, you know, I'm very emotional. and. I finally gave him a number and he uh, cut me a check the next day. He said, Sean, don't pay me back unless you really want to. But Sean has always felt the need to pay back. He fed 700 people on Thanksgiving, 500 more on Christmas Day. And when he threw a party to wrap 400 gifts for low-income kids, dozens of customers showed up. I'm just a small little tiny restaurant. I have no idea what I'm doing to affect other people but apparently it's contagious. Sean Tibbetts is as generous as the portions here. He says his restaurant isn't just about what he sells, but about what he shares. I feel I've done the impossible with nothing. And people come up to me and say, well, imagine with a full kitchen. I just smile and be like, I don't need one. I've got, I've done this. And for that, I feel very blessed. Tibbetts Fern 